Do you have trouble falling asleep? Are you struggling to save money? Do you have health problems that doctors haven't been able to solve? Did you know this may be affected by the feng shui of your bed? In this episode, we will talk about the direction of your bed and the do's and don'ts so that you can save money, have a good sleep, good health, and finally fill up your piggy bank. Number one, your view want to be able to save up and have cash reserve. Make sure that you have a main tong, meaning an empty space at the end of your bed. If you have a bed bench at the end of your bed, you will not be able to save up enough. If you have a bed rail or football at the end of your bed, you will not be able to save up. If at the end of your bed is touching the wall, you will not be able to save up. The solutions are simple. Spare space for your Ming Tong. Remove those objects that are blocking your Ming Tong. If you can't remove the bed wheel on your bunk bed for safety reasons, do not live on a bunk bed. If you are living in a tiny bedroom with your bed touching the wall, Try remove your bed to another direction so that you can have a Ming Tong. No matter how much money you make, Ming Tong is one of the key in Feng Shui to whether or not you can save money. Number two, many people struggle with uh, having a good sleep. Some have trouble falling asleep. Some have trouble staying asleep. And, ju- and some just never wake up energized. And they need pills to, to help them to sleep. If you want to have a good quality sleep at night, these are two things you need to check. First, make sure your headboard is against a solid wall with no moving parts on the other side of the wall. Do not place your headboard against a wall or of a bathroom where water from a shower, sink or toilet flows all day. Second, choose a bedroom that is of the right size. Do not sleep in a bedroom that have a very high ceiling and a bed that is too big. Imagine sleeping in a king size bed but inside a football court. Do you think you can have a good sleep? Do you think you can even fall asleep feeling secure? I ask people this question all the time and the answer is always no. But if your bed is big with very high ceiling. You can add bed pillars at the four corners of your bed. It will help you feel more secure and have a good quality sleep at night. This is why ancient kings and queens and nobles live in castles, have their bed pillars in their bedrooms. If your headboard is against the same wall as a window, this means you will always move around travel and are not always at home. This wouldn't be a problem if your job requires you to travel, for example, if you are a pilot or cabin crew. But if traveling is not what you want and staying at home to spend more time with your family is preferred, move your bed to another direction so that your headboard is not against the wall of a window. Number three, if you have health problems, and going to the doctor is still not happening. You can check if there is any object placed above your bed. The position of where the object is placed will affect the body part you are not feeling well with. For example, if you have a ceiling beam right above your head position in the bed, you may always have headache or eyesight problem. If you have a ceiling beam above the left side of your whole body, you may have issues with your left spine or injury to your left arm or leg. If your bedroom light is right above your bed, your abdomen, you may have digestion and stomach problems. The principle is simple. Do not have anything hanging on the ceiling above your bed. Reposition your bed right. Remove the artificial ceiling beams that are just to, uh, for aesthetic reasons. 
if the ceiling beam can't be removed, move your bed away from it to in another direction. These are three simple feng shui tips for your bed. If you are in advanced feng shui, you should position your bed based on calculation from your birth year. But this would be too complicated to include in this still video. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more feng shui tips. This is Michael Chan from the Lawyer School of Feng Shui. Thank you.